Hello everyone, Pete here. And even though Call of Duty is pretty divisive nowadays, there's no denying that latest Black Ops 7 is still one of the biggest releases of the year. Day one on Game Pass, no less. Let's blast through how to get the very best settings in the game for the Xbox Ally and Ally X, ROG Ally and Ally X, and this will work for indeed all Windows-based PC handhelds like the Legion Go as well. Plus I'll share how much of a difference in performance there is between playing in the new Xbox full screen experience compared to just launching from the Windows desktop. So I'm going to do this on my brand new Xbox Ally X, but as I say that this will work for the Xbox Ally, ROG Ally and Ally X, Legion Go and all Windows based PC handhelds. I'm going to hold down the Xbox button and head into the Windows desktop, as I know that a lot of us still don't have this Xbox full screen experience, but I will try out later in this to see what improvements there are if any. So as we start, I already assume that you've already fully optimised your Ally or PC gaming handheld using my brand new 17 essential step guide and also de bloated for extra performance gains using this guide too. And if not, then I'll leave links below. So as we start by heading into Army Crate to launch it, a quick tip is let's get rid of these super annoying black bars in the game artwork that drive me insane. I covered this in my optimised guide, so let's hit the X button, then select game info, then edit game art, stretch it out using our fingers to align the artwork just right, then press save, then exit out, and ah yes that is so much better. One last thing in Armory Crate, let's head into settings, then into performance, then to GPU settings, and here in the memory assigned to GPU that this is a widely debated topic of which is best. A lot of gamers do find that auto is perfectly fine, a lot of ROG Ally and Ally X owners prefer the 8G, and Xbox Ally and Ally X owners seem to favour 10G, which I'm going to select here, so let us know below in the comments which you prefer. So let's launch the game. This very first time, let's select the gamepad mode, and we may get the systems setting message, so just click yes. This first time in the game menu, it really is just worth waiting to allow all of the shaders to preload. That will give us optimum performance, and for me, it only took about 10 minutes to do this. As the intro cutscenes roll, it's stuff like this that remind us that even though the Ally 7 inch screen is getting a little bit on the tired side, here at the end of 2025, the crispness that this 1080p display offers still as a super enjoyable way to get immersed in our games. So in our game now, let's open up Command Center. I'm very intrigued what performance will be like at 17 watts here on the Xbox Ally X, which has been a real strength of the Z2 Extreme AI chip. But let's switch to the 35 watt turbo mode for the time being, which will give us the best performance possible and will enable the row real time monitor too. So while even here on the default settings in a crazy intense scene like this, we're already getting in the low 70s FPS, which is so, so good. And even without any tweaks that we'll do in a moment, this is still extremely playable. Something that really struck me with this year's Black Ops 7 campaign is that it seems designed for co-op, which is a shame for a single player mode. And with no difficulty settings as it adapts to our ability, apparently, it does seem to punish single players on our own, which is pretty unfortunate. Something that really shocked me is that if we pause our game, then after just a few minutes, we get completely kicked out of the single player campaign and we have to start over, which really sucks, especially when the intro cutscenes seem unskippable. Come on, developers, patch this up ASAP. Okay, so let's now see what performance is like on these default settings here on the Xbox Ally X at 17 watts. And we can see here we're getting in the late 50s and sometimes in the early 60s, which is ace. I'm not going to rush my Xbox Ally X review as I want to spend quality time with it, but a real highlight that's been very evident is this new Z2 Extreme AI chip that really shines at this 17 watts performance mode. Okay, so let's now tweak our settings to get the very best performance. So let's press the start button, which is still confusing to me on the Xbox Ally X now that it's lower down and head into game settings. Let's change full screen borderless to full screen exclusive, keep resolution at 1080p, but we can drop this to 900p if you really want a good few extra FPS and don't mind losing a bit of detail in the resolution. Keep VSync at off, click on the quality section, then click apply changes, then click confirm. Here in the quality area, let's change the default FSR1 to the more recent FSR3. Keep FSR3 frame gen off, but turning this to on will give us a load more FPS, but will incur more latency too, which we really don't want. Keep texture resolution on high, keep texture filter on ultra, turn depth of field off, keep detail quality on high, lower particle resolution, and I'm gonna select normal. I do like the bullet impacts and also persistent effects, so I'm gonna keep these to on. Keep shader quality on low, 
keep texture streaming on optimized and ah, it's just kicked me out for inactivity even in the pause menu in campaign mode no less this is so dumb and i really hope that this gets fixed soon Yeesh, so i'm back in the game i'm watching the trailer that we can't skip great okay back to where we were keep video quality on low lower shadow quality from high and i'm going to set it to normal change screen space shadows from high to low change occlusion from high to low change static reflection quality from high to low change terrain quality from high and i'm going to select medium change volumetric quality from medium to low change deferred physics quality from high to low change weather grid volume quality from high to low change water quality from all to water caustics then click apply changes so back in the game with our new best settings let's start first on the 17 watts profile and we can see here that we're much more solidly in the 60s now as a result of our optimized in-game settings that we've just done which is ace and even at some points it even jumps to the low 70s wow okay so let's now switch to our top end 35 watts turbo mode plugged in and whoa here on our new settings we're easily hitting the 80s fps a full 10 fps more than we were getting on the default settings so with our tweaks that we've just done these have really made a difference the game feels so fun and snappy with no lag as we haven't introduced any frame gen and yet we are still managing to hit the very high 70s and as i say 80s and this really is the best way to play black ops 7. let's now leave the match and exit the game and let's see if the full screen experience can be any better so we enter it here in the xbox app if we have it if we don't have an xbox ally that came shipped with it but we do want it then i've done a full guide to get it here on the channel we can just choose start now but let's restart for optimized performance that the xbox full screen experience can offer we're now in the full screen experience as we can see by swiping up let's load the game and start at the 17 watts performance mode and we can see here that we're still in the 60s fps exactly like we were when we launched it from the desktop so when we have optimized our ally such as using my 17 essential step guide then there really doesn't seem to be any noticeable improvements when in the xbox full screen experience let's now switch over to the 35 watts turbo mode and yep again it's very similar to us launching from the desktop in the region of the high 70s and early 80s fps with our new best settings congratulations you've now just fully optimized black ops 7 on your ally or pc gaming handheld like and leave a comment if this helps and also subscribe if you enjoy this type of content i'd love to hear your thoughts and tips on black ops 7 so please do let us all know below in the comments i want to say a huge thanks to an amazing website called rog ally life for their written guide on black ops 7 they do literally hundreds of best setting written guides so please do go and check them out and i'll leave a link below in the description and as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. And this is from our great viewer, Clear Takeover 7429 Our love for our fur family, so cats and pets, is greater than we can ever imagine. Cherish it. I'm so sad that Clear Takeover's cat of 12 years called Yoda passed away this week. It's a reminder that tomorrow is not guaranteed. So let's make the very best of the limited time that we have with our pets and of course our friends and family. So stay encouraged today guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. If you want to deep load your ally or pc handheld to get better performance then check this out right here as always thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one